Gotta find the series. No, it's not this one. You, punk! Not this one either. Will I ever see you again? I go by Spike Spiegel these days. Definitely not this one. Okay, there we go. Now this looks like something Netflix would produce. Oh, wait, wait a minute. It's it's not this one either. What was the previous one? The fuck? We all know cartoons are for babies, and uh, since I'm already a big boy, I can't watch them anymore. At least in public. <laughs> <laughs> Remaking anime into live action for a more broader audience has been really successful in the last years, as seen in Death Note <laughs> and Dragon Ball. <laughs> Netflix has made these remakes part of their business model, and the next up on the list has been Cowboy Bebop, since Cowboy Bebop was outdated, lacked diversity, and worst of all, was a Chinese cartoon. Uh, Netflix made the right decision in fixing all of its problems by remaking it. I watched the Netflix series, but before I did so, I decided to prepare by watching the original run as much as the people making this new one did. Alright, let's watch this and play. Oh. Yeah, that should about do it. Yeah, yeah, I'm joking. They watched all of it. They couldn't have copied everything a little bit worse if they didn't. The series takes place in a distant future where everyone looks like a cosplayer and not a real character. Thanks to Netflix, we can also finally have old women awkwardly be henchmen. Uh, I mean, henchwomen. I mean, <laughs> only to be immediately killed off. In the series, we follow a 50-year-old young pretty... Which they did, thanks to pretty boy. Boy toy? Notice, boy toy. Okay, okay, okay. I could come up with about 49 jokes about John Joe being too old for this role, but uh, my parents taught me to be respectful to my elders, so I'll leave it at that. Besides, it wouldn't take long for the jokes to start becoming uh, old. Spike, whose strength and weakness are uh, coins for some reason. Spike also has a black friend who is named, um, named, uh, Black? The fuck is this? They are bounty hunters who live from hand to mouth, hunting low life scum, until they meet a quirky loudmouth millennial. Afterwards, they become friends and we get some hilarious moments. Dicks. Shit, these assholes. Dick water. Then we make a deal. Then we have cupcakes. Cupcakes? Yeah. Who don't like cupcakes? The series is now streaming on Netflix, so be sure to check it out or we will never get a Netflix live-action Dragon Ball. All I ever wanted to be in life was a Super Saiyan. Hey! 